Today we're packing bikes for people in Papua New Guinea. We're sending over 400 bikes in a couple of weeks to, um, to our partners over in Medang in Papua New Guinea. We've been running Bikes for Life. I've been, you know, I sort of started Bikes for Life about three and a half years ago, um, which was really just an idea. Well, it wasn't an idea. It started as a promise of two bicycles to a group of former child soldiers I met in Uganda. Um, and it really just stemmed from that. I, um, went from collecting two bikes to, you know, saying, oh, well, I'll send some more for the community because of the need of bikes there. And then um, after that, I thought, okay, well, I'm gonna get volunteers together and we're gonna send a whole container of bikes. So we did that and then we set up the charity and, and kept going. We've got some really amazing supporters. Our biggest sponsor is Visa Global Logistics, who have been doing all of our shipping of the bikes. Um, not only that, they do local trucking of our containers and stuff like that, and um, they also, um, rent out a warehouse for us to run our weekly workshops. Um, so they're amazing. And then we've got um, a partner in Sydney, Fuel CDI, um, which is a creative sort of company. And they run our whole Sydney workshops. Um, they also help out in other ways as well. So they're brilliant. Chris Rowe runs that. So he's our main partner in Sydney, which is brilliant. We've also got um, Eastern Cleaning Supplies, um, a really amazing supporter, Michael Hoyle, who has helped us out um, financially with, with some problems we've had in Uganda with tax and stuff like that. And he's also, um, yeah, another big supporter. 